Good morning, fellow people, and welcome back to another video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and put the bell notification on so you don't forget or miss any of our videos. There's Sam. <laughs> and it is 5.58, we woke up at 5.30, and we are getting ready to leave right now to go on another epic adventure. Sam is cooking up some eggs before we leave. We're gonna go to the sand dunes, and we're gonna chase all sorts of lizards and snakes, and it's gonna be a blast. So you guys should stick around and keep watching the video. Go, 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 go. Nice shirt. Go, Slowpoke. All right, we are in the car now. And uh, we are driving and we've got a long drive ahead of us. And that's kind of boring. So we're just gonna jump straight to it. So, see you at the dunes. All right, so we are entering into the sand and Jeff is gonna show us a little trick to help us not get stuck. Because we've been there before. You can get stuck. He's letting air out of his tire, and if he lets too much out, we're just gonna have to. What's 35 minus 15? 20 psi? 20? Yeah. So we kind of went through a butterfly migration that was on the highway, and there are a lot of dead butterflies. Nice shirt, Sam. Plug in a little bit of merch there. That was unnecessary. We are walking the dunes right now. So we're gonna start walking. Get to where we need to be. Yep, and just do our thing. This caterpillar's digging in the sand. <laughs> the lizards are just starting to wake up. They're being kind of punks right now. We're just barely starting to see like fringe toe lizards coming out, so. Twisted his ankle. He just doesn't know about walking in dunes. He just doesn't know how it works. Hey! Yeah. How far deep I went. How far deep? Grammar. Oh, it's a no way. It's a big freaking leopard, dude. Is it? Yes, see there. Oh, I see it. Tell me when you got it pinned and I'll run. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Right into a scorpion weed. Yep. Woo! Heck yeah. Nice! Dude, heck yeah. What a beast, dude. Jeez. Heck yeah. <laughs> dude. So this is a long-nosed leopard lizard, and these things are like the Tyrannosaurus Rex of the lizard world. They feed on other lizards, and what they do is, I don't know if you saw, I do not want to get bit. So you can see he's got that big old gaping mouth right there. And what they do is they run up to other lizards and they grab them by the head and chomp as hard as they can. And if it doesn't crush their skull, what it'll do is, ah! if it doesn't crush the lizard's skull, it'll whack it up against the ground. Whack, whack, yeah, yeah, like that. Ah, he's got leaves on him from when he bit that bush. But it'll gulp it down and swallow it whole. Freaking awesome lizard. And look at the coloration on it. Her first you, in hand lizard of the day, and it's a heckin' good one. That is a really good one, and you can see why they call them leopard lizards. Is you can see those spots, and different um, different populations have more pronounced spots than this one. But these ones, whoa! Oh. <laughs> I almost dropped him. <laughs> no. <laughs> awesome, the long nosed leopard lizard. Look at that. Heck yeah! All right, we'll keep going and looking for some more lizards, but that's the first. Lizard species off the list today. This one's not easy to catch either. No. These are probably the hardest lizards out here to catch for sure. Yeah, look at that thing. Awesome. What a gorgeous lizard. All right, let's keep going, man. Yeah! Hey, Sam, there's a whip tail. I want to try to catch it. The flip. What in tarnation? Where do these things keep going? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Jeffrey said leopard lizards are the hardest, but these are by far the hardest. But we don't even try for them because they're so hard. Now he's in this small bush. 
Oh, give me a break, man. Give me a break. This thing's not even letting me stand a chance. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Make sure I don't lose the camera. I'm like walking away from it. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! I caught it, bro. Tiger Whiptail right there. Heck yeah. The most impossible lizard to catch out here in the desert. Very quick, very zippy. They just never stop moving, but that branch covered his face. And therefore, I have caught myself a nice Tiger Whiptail. Second species of the day, and very pretty. These guys will typically just forage around and they'll eat the flowers that sit on the creosote, similar to the desert iguanas. They'll eat those yellow flowers that just grow on the creosotes. They'll come out when it gets hot and sunny, such as now. And it's a good sign and a good indicator that these all the other lizards will be out moving. But it's very, very pretty, very lightly colored. They remind me of tegus, uh, with a lot of you uh, pet trade animal people. Um, or exotic animal keepers would know what a tegu looks like and that these guys have very similar looking faces. They got really cool little racing stripes, got many different species of tiger whiptails here in Arizona. I mean, very many different species of whiptails here in Arizona, but these are personally one of my favorites and they get very big. Look at that. This is huge. Tiger whiptail. Here, hold it. Dude, I pounced on it with my hands. Really? Is this the one that you've been looking for? Is it, no. The searching one? Well, this is the one I was like, you threw the hook for me. Uh, I yeah. barely got it. Yeah. That was a... It took me a minute. You are hassle. But yeah, second species of the day. Super stoked. Jeffrey is photographing the leopard lizard, so he's not going to get to see us in there. <laughs> now, we see a lot of them, but we just don't get a lot in hand because we don't typically try for them. I, but this I just, guy can jump any second. Just, oh, 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 oh. There's a tiger whip tail for you guys. He just took off. Oh, Sam. Got a lizard in here. I don't know what it is. It's a desert iguana. It's a desert iguana. It's a desert iguana. Oh my gosh. Sam! 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 Desert iguana! A desert iguana! And a freaking zebra tail. Oh, I can't tell if the desert iguana ran in this bush or the... And I'm more interested in the iguana. I was standing in a bush looking for it, and I saw it was sitting by my foot, and then it ran before I could do anything. Dang it. Really? Where did it go? Oh, boy. I already came to this exact thing. What? You did? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh. oh, no. oh right there, right there, right there. Right there. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Oh, he found the big hole. Yeah. Dang it. Oh. It, was it was. That was a desert iguana. Well, Bro, failed attempt at desert iguana. Sam spotted a desert iguana and it's gone. By the time I get there, I'm gonna keep them in the rear end. Just heard him yell iguana. Man, these things suck. You're giving us a hard time. Is it gone? It sure is an iguana. I ran all the way over here. It's like this big. Really? It's huge. Alright, time to kick your butt. <laughs> I told him I was going to kick your butt. I spotted him before he's moved. He's just chill he's just chilling at the base. There's a burrow right behind him. Hold on, hold on. Slower, slower, slower. I can get him with the hook if you could get it to me. I thought I heard him. Got him. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got Heck yeah, dude. Woo! Freaking Desert Iguana. Okay, hey, you gotta hold him tight. Make sure you don't drop him. <laughs> Sam's excited about this one. Look at that. Desert Iguana. He didn't even move. 
the whole time. <laughs> hey, buddy. Heck yeah, that's how it works right there. See. Oh, he's red. Heck he's yeah. really red. And look. He's got all of his, it's like a tortoise. He's got all of his munchies yeah. on his chin. All right, guys, we finally got our hands on a desert iguana. This has been ridiculous. You saw how many times we've missed these guys and we finally got one. And I think it's because I happened, well, I'm sure he probably saw me, but I spotted him before he started running and it gave us a perfect chance to pin him and get him up close to the camera. Look at how gorgeous these iguanas are. One of my favorite things about them is their dinky little derpy face. They've got the cutest little round head and I absolutely love them. And fun fact, although these are actually a very common lizard within their distribution, I have never caught one in hand before. Jeff's seen many, Jeff's caught multiple, but I have never done it myself. So this is a really cool opportunity for me and I love getting up close to these guys. When they're out in the sand, they look practically white and they're super fast. You've seen in the video, I mean, I came running after Sam because he called iguana, Jeff calls iguana, there's an iguana under my foot, but they always get away because one of their best techniques is to know where burrows are that's surrounding them so that when they feel threatened, they can dart as quick as they can straight to that burrow without even a second thought. And they're really, really good at it. They're very good at it. That's why I was super jazzed that we were able to see this guy before he saw us, or at least to the point where he was going to dart. And these are iguanas. They are. I mean, I mean, look at their face. They've got an iguana face. Although they're not that big green iguana that you typically see in the rainforest, this is in fact a desert species of iguana native to the state of Arizona. These guys can withstand very, very high temperatures. Even when it's up to 100 degrees in the summer, these guys will still be walking around. And one of the best seasons for these guys is when these creosotes are blooming. See these yellow flowers? They love munching on him. I'm sure he's not gonna munch on him when, you know, he's right here. He's, he's a little bit stressed out and we're gonna release him as soon as we're done getting photos and whatnot. But this is our third species of the day. I'm super jazzed. This is going right back where he was. Continue searching. Woohoo! So, this is what happens when you herp in the sand dunes. You get your whole shoe full of sand. Well, it's been a long, crazy day, as you can tell by my hair. Um, we're not totally done yet. Holy crap, I'm like covered in dirt and stuff, man. Nasty. Grody. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start cruising for Goods Horn Lizards and uh, do that for a little bit. And if that doesn't work out, we'll probably call it a day, but we're gonna give this one last attempt here and see if we can uh, turn up some more lizards before we head out. Yo. Fingers crossed. Right, Sam? Yes. Then we'll get some food. <laughs> Big smile on his face about that one. 